the invisibility cloak letter. It's Harry's first Christmas morning at the Hogwarts castle and to his disbelief he's got presents to open. The main gift was the invisibility cloak which his father gave to Dumbledore before he died. Included with the surprise was an envelope, inside a letter which read, your father left this in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. The envelope and letter both went up for sale back in 2019 and sold for a total of £3,300. The Triwizard Tournament Trading Card Did you know Harry Potter had trading cards that were released alongside each of the films? Lucky fans had the opportunity to find cast signatures, pieces of costumes and much more. This item is a holy grail from the packs, which consists of signatures from all four of the Triwizard contestants, along with costume material from those actors in the Goblet of Fire. The card was put up for auction in February of 2022 and was sold for $20,000, which is a bargain considering the cheapest available to buy right now is over $100,000. The Hogwarts student pre-sorting tie. The most recognisable part of the Hogwarts uniform is undoubtedly the house theme ties, but there's another tie you may have forgotten about. The pre-sorting ties were worn by first years from the moment they alighted the Hogwarts Express to the scene in which they were sorted into their separate houses. It's definitely the most expensive tie you'll ever buy with bids starting at £600 with the hammer predicted to go down at almost £2,000. Harry Potter's Hogwarts Acceptance Letter We've all dreamt of receiving our Hogwarts letter, but why not do one better and get the one Harry first received from the famous school of witchcraft and wizardry? This one, which Harry collected from the post, included a wax seal. This first came into circulation when it was gifted by the official studios to a charity for them to auction and raise funds. If you win this rare piece of history, you'll also get the authentic letter from that donation and four original tickets to the cast and crew screening of the Philosopher's Stone. The difference between this envelope and the thousands that flew through the fireplace is that they didn't have the wax seal because it made them too heavy for the desired effect. When it was donated, the studios assumed whoever acquired it would want to keep it sealed, so they also included a copy of the acceptance letter and checklist for first year students. After two bids, the price is sat at seven and a half thousand pounds although it's expected to sell for fifteen thousand or more. Hagrid's autograph director's chair. This next piece will be even more desired after the unfortunate passing of Robbie Coltrane who played the beloved groundskeeper of Hogwarts, Rubius Hagrid. It's the director's chair which was personalised just for him in the Chamber of Secrets film. The foldable wooden chair has a black canvas seat and backrest. The removable chair back reads Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets on one side and Robbie Coltrane Hagrid the Giant in embroidered gold text on the other. Coltrane also autographed the chair back in gold coloured ink to match. Signs of production use include minor plucks on the backrest and slight discoloration on the seat. The chair is accompanied by a letter of authenticity. This details that it was originally gifted to its previous owner by Coltrane and autographed in person. The item received 17 bids and was sold for £4,700 a year before he passed. RJ Lupin's leather briefcase. If you want something from the films you can show off in everyday life, keep watching. In Prisoner of Azkaban, the trio ended up sat on the Hogwarts Express with what first seemed a randomer. Hermione quickly pointed out it was Professor RJ Lupin as his name was on his luggage. The screen used leather bag was sold in August of 2022 for 5,500 pounds. Harry Potter's hero wand from the Philosopher's Stone. This collectible comes from possibly the most famous scene in all of the films. In Ollivander's one shop, Harry tried out multiple wands before finding the one that best suited him. Mr. Ollivander described the wand as nice and supple, with a brother that had given Harry his scar, owned by he who must not be named, Voldemort. You could own the very first version of Harry's signature item, whose design slowly evolved throughout the film series. It features a dark brown varnish with minor chips and scuffs from production use. This wand was originally gifted to one of the agents who represented a number of child stars 
in the film. If you wish to own the most famous magic wand in the world, you better have deep pockets. It went up for bid with a starting price of £10,000 and after four advances, it rapidly increased to 17000 The website expected it to sell for 30000 but just a few days before the auction was due to finish, it was mysteriously removed from the site. I decided to ask them why, to which they replied, the item is legitimate, however we cannot divulge exact reasoning due to data protection. I've got a feeling someone has made a private offer that the seller just couldn't refuse. The Quidditch Field Supplies Trunk from the Goblet of Fire. Let's be honest, you probably never even noticed this when you watched the fourth film, but it was definitely there. This is the Quidditch Surgical Field Supplies Trunk. It was used as set decoration in the waiting tent for the very first task. This was where Harry and the other Triwizard Tournament contestants awaited their turn to battle a dragon. The current bid is at £2,000 and is expected to sell for £3,000 or more. Dumbledore, daft or dangerous, daily profit. This is a daily profit headlined Dumbledore, daft or dangerous from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Cornelius Fudge's newspaper ran stories discrediting Dumbledore over Voldemort's return. Static versions of the newspapers were created for visual effects inserts of the characters moving on the page. The collectible includes seven additional pages of magic related stories and a Warner Brothers certificate of authenticity. It was sold in June of 2022 for $7,500. Hooded coat and pocket watch from the Philosopher's Stone. Now what's the next best job other than getting a role in the films? Being part of the crew that brought it to life. Well, if you'd like to pretend you was part of that team, you can buy the official coat and pocket watch that the squad was gifted in 2001. The black nylon hooded coat has the Hogwarts crest embroidered on the left chest and a golden snitch emblem decorates the back. The watch comes in a black presentation box and features a curb link chain and an analog face printed with a lightning bolt and stars. The back reads Harry Potter cast and crew 2001. The current bid is £600 and will likely sell for over £1,000. Other staff gifted items include this statue of the Weasley's flying Ford Anglia perched on top of a tree stump. The SFX crew gift from the Chamber of Secrets movie has a starting bid of £200 and will likely sell for as high as £600. 